talked about maybe trying to forge a blade together or maybe working on one bar at Damascus, but I kind of came up with the idea of having each individual make their own piece of Damascus. We really decided that coming together and making this blade, it was gonna be so much that was going to go into it that how do you decide what to do with it? And we just kind of decided last night talking like, let's let's build a project where we all work on individual pieces and then put it together all in one combination of Damascus for, a, for something for greater good, something better than us. It's just been really cool having these veterans all here. Uh, we we kind of started this off in January with just an idea. Um, we made you know made the fingerprint uh, blade with Laura and Brandon Lilly. Back then we were just hoping to get you know maybe a handful of veterans here. Uh, our company was basically brand new at that point, and uh, and here we are. It's things have kind of exploded, and uh, you know having almost 30 people in the shop here. Uh, over the last couple of days has just been kind of surreal, honestly. And, uh, you know, everybody from, you know, combat veterans, people who were on ships, uh, people who um, were just involved in all different capacities of the military uh, here kind of joining together working on blades. And it's been, it's been quite an experience. It's just been awesome to see how Montana Knife Company, through Brandon, through Josh, through the community, has just been so accepted, so giving at the same time. And that was the whole process that we started with was how can we give back? How can we do something for people that have given everything? You know, and these are people that are just the finest of the finest and they're looking for something to attach themselves to, something positive, something good in a day and age when so much isn't. I didn't see how it could be anything but amazing and it's blown that away. The thing I love about this experience is that everyone has their own stories and everyone came here from a different path and being here and getting to share what I know with these amazing men and women is incredibly humbling and just witnessing everyone being on the same level and how there is no ego involved and we are all just here and we are all just family immediately and I think that says a lot about Montana Knife Company and what they represent and Creating a space where strangers can come and immediately be welcome and be family is something pretty special. Yeah, it was a, uh, it was really cool today. I mean, it was it was a busy day. Um, you know, a big thanks to, uh, you know, Steve Coster, Master Bladesmith, came over from Idaho. Uh, you know, I only called him about five days before the event and said, "Hey, this is what I'm doing. Will you come over and help me teach?" Um, and thank God he's been here because he's been busy. I mean, we've both been teaching two and three people at a time. Uh, Joe Maynard drove from Nashville, Tennessee, brought his mobile forge trailer. Joe's a Black Hawk helicopter pilot, um, retired veteran, um, has a really cool story about how bladesmithing and forging basically saved his life. And he told that to the veterans this morning, um, kind of a tearjerker moment where he talks about the point he was at in his life and then what blade forging and, and, and making knives did for him. Uh, so much so that he started a mobile forge trailer that he's taken all over the country now uh, and, and wants to share that passion with other veterans and then just other people. Um, and he's really doing it all on his own, hoping down the road to maybe find some sponsors to help pay the bills. But right now he's just doing it out as a, as, as a passion. So, uh, you know, Joe drove 2,200 miles to come help with that. So. 
Um, as far as the day, it was just, um, to me, it was pretty incredible. It was a whirlwind. Um, we had everybody sleeping out in tents last night and it rained a bunch and uh, uh, they got the full Montana experience. Um, kind of rained in the middle of the day, but uh, honestly, I think the day went really well. Everybody seems to be smiling and happy and, uh, and hopefully we're gonna forge some steel late into the night. The idea that we went from unsure of how this would go to even if it would take, to now talking about it's three to four times bigger than we expected. What can we do for next year? Where can this be in five years? What does this look like in 10 years? And I think selfishly, you know, the part of me that wants to be here beating steel understands that the pebble and the ripples are probably a bigger give than I could ever get. You know what I mean? The ability to see something set in motion, to always be a part of it, to be a peripheral factor, to contribute, to, to celebrate. I mean, all these things are aspects of my life that I didn't used to do. So I think tying that in with the veterans that have probably taken life for granted, have probably taken aspects of their military time for, you know, for granted or coming out of the military, all of us are going through things. All of us are learning as we go. But I think that's the beauty of this. This can go anywhere. This can become an annual thing, a, you know, a multi-annual, like however you want to do this and just keep growing it and growing it and growing it. But seeing new people come into this fold, seeing new people introduced to Montana Knife Company, seeing the way that Josh, I would rank him as one of the best teachers I've ever seen. I mean, to literally come here with Laura and him, I mean, his expertise allowed this knife to come together. I mean, Laura and I can beat steel. That's Anybody can do that. But to do it with finesse and with the, the right approach and the, the whole idea from the beginning, I mean, I had no idea that it could be done that way. And to, to do that in more or less a weekend, I mean, that just speaks to the kind of teacher that he is. And more people need teachers like that. Whatever the capacity is, people need to go to a place and understand, I can't master this in a weekend, but I can absorb and I can become more. I can be a better version of myself after this. And hopefully they take that home. Hopefully that impacts their spouse, their kids, their friends them like hopefully the ripples carry through them and because of a knife because of the idea of forging metal and and reshaping really misspent or cast away pieces i think is the sheer definition of, of why i wanted to be a part of it that's just that's who i am trying to rebuild this thing from where we started and from where montana knife company was when we first started all this to see the growth that's happened and to see the lives that have been affected and the community that's come together in such a short period of time. It just makes me wonder, you know, if it happens, if so much can happen in such a short period of time. What's another year? What's another five years? 